the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded to the city of London. Only 98 days left to go for the nation to come together and celebrate one of the biggest sports games in the world. After 62 years, the city of London will be hosting the Olympics and Paralympic Games once again. The Olympic Games are not just about the golden medals and athletes, it's about celebrating the talented young people. One of the defining moments of any Olympic Games is the announcement of the torch relay route. On the 19th of May 2012, the torch relay will begin in Land's End and will cross the UK travelling 10 miles within the 95% of the UK population. The flame will pass through more than 1,000 communities along the route on its way to the opening ceremony of the London 2012 Olympic Games, which will take place on the 27th of July. Being a torchbearer is an honor, one given to a local resident with a record of community services. Depending how fast the torchbearer moves, each torchbearer will be carrying the flame for an average of 300 meters. The 19-year-old Ethiopian-born Samuel Branu is one of the 8,000 inspirational people who will carry the flame. Samuel is the current student union president at the New Ham Sixth Form College. He has recently completed his level one basketball coaching qualification and he volunteers with the New Ham All-Star Sports Academy. Uh, basketball was my first love in a sense. I always played basketball, I always loved basketball. It was a means of me getting away from any troubles or from, from any, any sort of trouble I have. So I wanted to be able to inspire other young players, young students, and try to teach them what, try to teach them what I understand about basketball. So also trying to teach them a lesson about life in a sense. So about respect, about but how to treat each other, how to be a member of a team. When I first heard about me becoming a torch, a torch bearer, I was really, really shocked. Um, I didn't actually think I was going to make it through because there are people out there that have done extraordinary, extraordinary things. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think my story can count, but it did. And now I'm, I'm going to be a torch bearer. So I'm really, really happy and really, really excited. The London 2012 torch relay is designed with the 8,000 runners in mind. It reflects those who would be carrying it. There are 8,000 holes in the torch that represent each one of the runners and each miles of the relay. Well, that Sam is the perfect choice to be a torch bearer because one is that Sam is a very active young person he likes to engage with the community. He does a lot of volunteering work with a basketball group known as NASA. He's been volunteering for college. I mean, he, he's done volunteering with children that are in primary school, teaching them basketball. So he's done a lot of work in the community. So I feel like this is a perfect gift to give back to Sam, just to, like, to, to show him that we really value him in the community because he's really helped us out a lot. So for him to be a torchbearer would be a real achievement. There was no torch relay in the ancient Olympic Games. The modern use of the Olympic flames began in 1936 at the Berlin Games. It happened with the introduction of a long relay of runners carrying torches to bring the flame from Olympia to the site of the Games. However, nowadays the fact that the Olympic torch holds the Olympic flames makes it one of the most powerful Olympic symbols. It is about connecting everybody and aspiring everyone behind the Olympic values. Damien Plummer works for Manor Education and Training Solutions, providing alternative education opportunities for young people who may be facing difficulties within a mainstream education for one reason or another. Because of his work involves supporting a variety of young people with challenging behavior and attitudes, he was nominated by his friend Russell Evans. I've never really worked to achieve anything about, apart from to inspire um, others around me, whether it be the young people I work with or 
my my colleagues um, and I always want to try and do my my best so kind of being recognized um, as somebody who's working um, and doing good work um, it's kind of it's quite special if I really think about it and uh, you know that means a lot to me I don't do the work for recognition if that makes sense I do it because I enjoy what I'm doing Torchbearer nomination process ran from May to June 2012 and the selection panels were held around the UK in the autumn. The Torchbearer were confirmed in March 2012. However, it is not clear how one is chosen to carry the torch after being nominated and not everyone is happy about the process. Disappointed that I didn't get chosen to carry the torch after being nominated by my friends. It will be interesting to know the reason behind how one can get to carry the torch and one doesn't. But all in all, I'm happy that the Olympics is coming to my hometown and I can wait for the game to begin. Of the 8,000 torchbearers, 7,300 are local people. The remaining 700 will be athletes and celebrities. The Flames' arrival at the opening ceremony on the 27th of July 2012 will officially signal the start of London 2012 Olympic Games. Once there, the flame is used to light a cauldron that remains lit until it is extinguished in the closing ceremony.